Good morning, guys. Dunzo. What's up, YouTube? Just knocked out 25 minutes of cardio. Got some good lighting right there. But uh, today's vlog or video is going to be a full grocery haul. So we're gonna go to multiple locations um, to get all of the groceries, all the essentials, things that I get and that I consume on a daily basis. Um, so yeah, right now it's about 110 degrees. Well, approaching that, it's gonna be 115 for the high. It's already over 100. It's like nine o'clock in the morning in Phoenix, Arizona. So yeah, gotta stay cool, but uh, we'll get through this. This heat is insane. So yeah, right now we'll just hop in the car and we'll go to our first spot. Also right now, got Jed North shirt on. Love these little stringers in the morning, especially when it's really hot out um, to knock out my cardio. <sighs> Makes the bicep peak look pretty darn good too. Feel pumped, feel great. 15% um, off, use code RIPTER, support your boy. Clothes are great and they actually make you look bigger than you actually are. All right, so first stop is Safeway. And this is similar to like a Vons or Albertsons in California or a Kroger in the Midwest or like a Publix down in the South. So you can pretty much get everything, you know, here as you would at those places. So the overall amount of shopping we're gonna do here is gonna be much more limited than Costco simply because the per unit price of most of the groceries are much more expensive here. We're gonna go ahead though and get a lot of the dry goods. So let's get into it. All right, guys, remember that price, $5 for 18 ounces of blueberries. We're not gonna get them here. We're gonna get them at Costco because they're a lot cheaper per unit. Let me show you something. This right here, one ounce, 120 calories, complete garbage. You go one level up, Walden Farms, zero calories per serving. It's actually probably like two or three calories, but they're able to round down to zero. Pick whatever flavor you want. I'm gonna pick the Chipotle Ranch, the Balsamic, and the regular ranch. Another easy swap. Heinz tomato ketchup, 20 calories per serving. Easy swap, cuts the calories right in half, tastes exactly the same. In fact, I think the no sugar added tastes better. I get my oats here also. They're gonna be cheaper at Costco, but I just love Quaker and the convenience of the one minute oats. One thing that stands out to me the most about this place is that they have an entire aisle dedicated to soda and diet soda and energy drinks so you can literally pick whatever flavor you want it goes really really deep at costco there's only like a diet coke there's very limited options but you got a zero calorie a and w squirt so a bunch of vintage stuff too uh squirt with uh, a cherry flavor grapefruit i love diet mountain dew it's probably my favorite so i'm gonna stock up on some diet mountain dew they even have a Mountain Dew in Major Melon. So it goes as deep as that. The one thing I like about Mountain Dew most is it tastes most like the real thing and it's no calories. Now I'm not saying that you should be having Diet Pop you know, multiple times a day or even every single day, but it definitely helps with the cravings. You're not gonna gain a single pound from a zero calorie beverage. Another staple in my diet is rice. And I'm gonna go ahead and compare the prices of this rice to the one at Costco later, because you're gonna save a lot more money by buying it at Costco. I used to make way bigger mistakes with my rice. I used to waste so much money on frozen rice at Whole Foods and Trader Joe's just because the convenience was there. But it, trust me, it is totally worth your time to go ahead and cook it dry. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the price of the Trader Joe's and the Whole Foods right now. And you guys will go ahead and see for yourself how much money you're saving just by cooking it instead of giving it frozen. And on top of that, you're gonna save even more money by getting it at Costco. So here's a quick look at the cart. That's all we're gonna get here. The rest of our groceries are gonna be at Costco. So we're gonna go ahead, check out, and then head over there, you know, later on today. All right, guys, so I ended up going home to unload the first batch of groceries, which obviously was a really small load. Uh, we're gonna go to Costco in just a minute. I ended up coming home to also freshen up. It's just so hot out here. I have the same shirt on, but it's actually a duplicate. Whenever I enjoy a piece of clothing the most from Jed North, I just get a second uh, version of it because, you know, I like to wear my favorite clothes. So I'm um, going to go ahead, drive over there now. Going to put the AC on now because it is boiling hot in here. And uh, yeah, let's hit the road. All right, so we're going to make an entire loop around the store. So we'll start off on the left-hand side with the protein options. 
and then just uh, make an entire loop around the store. Start off with chicken breast, $2.89 per pound. You can get turkey at some stores for like $5 a pound, but it has the same nutritional value. So if you really enjoy chicken breast, it's a no brainer. So I'll end up split screening it, but right here, one gram of fat, that is super lean. Um, you want two grams of fat or less, it just makes it a really clean protein source that way. Next is top sirloin steak. And this actually went up in price recently, but I still get two of them because I have a lot of it in my diet right now. And what I do is if I can't eat it all by the due date, which is in this case, June 17th, I end up freezing one of them. So then that way later in the week, I have some fresh uh, steak no matter when I want to have it. By the time this video airs, that sirloin steak will be pretty much expired or very close to it. So yeah, sirloin steak does not last too long. If you want to have top sirloin steak in your diet, you do need to um, buy it fairly frequently or be aggressive enough to eat it right away. Now we're into the produce aisle. We've got the asparagus, and then I go with organic baby spinach. Those are my two favorite vegetables. This is not mandatory in your diet. You can pretty much pick whatever vegetables you want, but they're my staples. So June 27th, that looks pretty good. Next, we're gonna grab our eggs. The price is nothing special, but I just like having two dozen at a time. It allows me to not worry about getting eggs more than once a week. Now we got frozen blueberries and it's 6.89, okay? Right? So that's for three pounds. It was one pound for five bucks at Safeway. So just by grabbing this alone, just by having this, you're saving yourself about almost three times the price. Um, it's like you're saving eight bucks. Let's say you get through this in two weeks, you're saving, saving like $8 every two weeks. But I'll, it's really important to focus on how much you're spending at the grocery store if you're gonna make this a lifestyle. So if you guys are new to lifting, you're new to fitness, you know, you don't realize how much money you can save per month and then it becomes per year, and then you're saving like, you know, tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars over a lifetime. If you're just mindful of where you spend your money with, your, you know, your, your meal plan, your meal prepping, um, because, you know, when you make this a lifestyle, it costs money to eat every single day of your life, as long as you're breathing, obviously. So, yeah, I just think it's a really important topic to cover, just so you guys are at least mindful of some of the things you can do to save, you know, some money. So I have plenty of spices at home, but I get asked all the time what type of seasoning I use. This is the seasoning I use, and here's pink Himalayan salt as well. As far as oils, you wanna pick something with zero calories. So this canola oil or this avocado oil spray, no calories. You decide to come over here, you get it in oil, an actual oil form or some olive oil, 120 calories in one serving. You don't need to be wasting your calories on that kind of stuff, guys. This gets the job done right here, saves you a ton of calories, and uh, you know, it all counts, right? Coconut oil, 120, putting it on the pan, no good. Unless you really like coconut oil in your diet, I would avoid it. Plenty of health benefits though, guys, so you know, just be mindful. This right here is the biggest money saver of them all, guys. Go ahead and get yourself a big bag of rice, 25 pounds of rice for nine bucks. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, you know, the difference in how much you're saving compared to what we went over earlier. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the video, but uh, I wanna conclude this video inside because it's so hot outside, and if I'm doing this video in the car, my groceries will become unfrozen, and that's not a good situation either because it's like a good 15, 20 minute drive home. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video again, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out so much, and I really enjoyed doing this video. Um, hopefully you guys learned a thing or two, where to spend and save your money, what are some good examples of a quality meal prep. So until next time, peace.